contract. Guess what came in the mail today? Oh, what? Yeah. Take it in! No. <laughs> What's good, Winter Circle? Welcome back to the. <laughs> I'm dancing to the beat of the machine. <laughs> all right, all right. What's good, Winter Circle? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have. What the? <laughs> What's good, Winter Circle? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a special. Very special guest with me today. You wanna introduce yourself? I am Tab. <laughs> I love why y'all. She the goofy boo. She you know, be the damn goofy. So, uh, what she do? Yes, she do. But yeah, this is my girlfriend, Tab. Um, the last time y'all really like seeing her, seeing her was like uh, I mean, a couple of videos. Like last video I posted, you know what I mean? But she didn't really get a chance to be properly introduce um at one point i wasn't showing her face you know so i was like you know let's do a quick little q a y'all get to know her a little bit um uh, not too much but you know just enough um i'm not gonna be asking no crazy questions but you know some questions that may come to mind is i just also google some random questions are you ready yes anything else you want to say before we start hello world <laughs> First question If you could be any animal What would you be and why Seriously ask these questions Like for real There's so many animals in the planet and they all you know have their different characteristics that make them unique if you just had to pick one at this very moment which one and why animal mm -hmm. uh, uh, I don't know butterfly Hi. butterfly why butterfly is that like symbolic for you in the moment. Um, I mean my thoughts is that like they have a very short lifespan mm -hmm. and so they don't have to deal with earth bullshit for that long mm -hmm. and they get to go from caterpillar to beautiful butterfly and then kaput it's kind of kind of dark <laughs> <laughs> I mean this is what I thought of right now I don't know I'm taking <laughs> Um, if you had one day left to live, what would you do first? What would I do first? Mm -hmm. Like, I knew I was going to die. You knew you were going to die. You only got this one 24 hours left. What would you do first? Girl, I catch the next flight to LA. Okay, for, your, for those who don't know, uh huh. She's saying it. The, the, the letters in Spanish. Every every day. <laughs> it's not every day. Every day. R D. Ere. 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 Fuck. The camera had cut. But she was saying. Ere. <laughs> Ere. Every day. Every day. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dr. The Dominican Republic. She, she's from Dr. Bitch, I'm Dominican. Bitch, I'm Dominican. Bitch, I'm big Dominican. Bitch, I'm big Dominican. And I can't wait to go back to the DR. Yes. And then I would go die there. Okay. On, I don't know, maybe Papa's land. Just go lay down there. Papa is her great grandfather. Camp out and die. Okay, damn. <laughs> All right. Um, where is one place you feel most like yourself? Um, we in deep. 
Mm-hmm. Like you don't gotta put on no type of fart. You can just feel free to be you. I mean, that's really up to me, isn't it? I could be me whenever I want to be me. Period. <laughs> that's it. You know what I'm one saying? One. Yeah. Yeah, we see one more. Oh, thing. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Good, man. Would you be willing to break the law to rescue a family member? Depends which one. <laughs> it's the truth. It depends which one. A lot of them know. Kylie. Absolutely. Okay. That's my baby. Period. Okay. Damn, what happened? Yo, it's got them pop ups and shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got this shmanny. Pop up here, pop up there, pop up as well. What is happening? Oh, okay. All right. I don't like how they got them family questions. Uh, <laughs> they trying to unbury the family trauma. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite childhood meal? My favorite childhood meal? If you had a big one. I know probably like a couple, but if you had a big one. Yeah. Um, I know I ain't more than one. Um, I used to love, um, mango con huevo frito y cebolla. That's a lot. Okay, what is that? Uh, mango is mashed plantain. Mm-hmm. Huevo frito is fried egg with cebolla, which is onions, but we would do it like they would put, like, they would, like, basically like, marinate onions inside of, like, olive oil. Mm-hmm. And then you pour that on the mango. Okay. And then they usually give it to me with like homemade juice, like or the chino or something like that. Okay, okay. Um, and this is like a side of questions I have. If you had to pick one of your modeling pics, which one is your favorite, or what is like one of your favorites? Um, and I'll put it up here for y'all to see. You got an advertising motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Hey, you're crazy. You know what I'm talking about? Like, oh, got some deals. What's that? Yeah. I'm like, go ahead. Come on. Which one? Um, I think I've told you which one. Wait, I don't know. It's two I really like. Mm-hmm. It was it was from the same shoe. I don't know. I like both of them. You just pick one, though. Oh, God. I really like both of them, but I guess if I had to pick one, I would do the one where it's it's black and white, and I'm in a swimsuit with a little coconut purse, and I'm like on my tippy toes. That's my favorite. That's one of my favorite ones. Yeah, I'll put it right here so y'all can see it. Yeah, but um, cool. That's That's a good one. Good. I was making sure. No flash the camera. Yeah, she just washed her hair, so that's why she got like a towel on. You know it's I mean? very much the wet. Yeah. Oh, showing off the hair. And the reason why I'm not asking like like questions like oh like like what was your opinion of me when you first met me stuff like that because y'all don't know how we met and we're gonna save that for my podcast which is mm-hmm. Dinner with Finesse podcast. Check that out on the bio or the description. I forgot this is YouTube. Um, um, have you ever dated a coworker? Yeah. More than once. <laughs> how was it? Oh, well, I know how it was. Very bad. <laughs> I do not recommend zero out of five stars. You don't. You don't think people should like? Date Honestly, work? I don't think you should mesh work. Like you know, you know that saying. What is it? Like don't mix work with play. I'm sorry, y'all. The shit keep going out. But storage. Yeah, don't have enough storage. But I had to leave some shit. Out. Don't mix work with play. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was saying, but granted, these were shitty people, regardless if I met them at work or not. But it's just, it, it, it's it's always gonna be this weird, like, like it's, like it's one thing to you know meet up with somebody like when you when you get off of work, but to see them at work, and then things go sour, you still gotta see them at work. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. go home, see them. 
I just feel like it leaves too much room for like messiness and shit. I feel like the one time I did something even similar to that, the motherfucker stopped working there, so it made it kind of easy to keep working there. <laughs> yeah. That's happened before, but like I, I just feel like it's not. I just feel like you just 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 try not to. Even though, granted, some people meet like they wives and they husbands and their life partners in work. Mm-hmm. So sometimes I'm not gonna say like because you can't put everything in in a box in one category. Sometimes maybe that is how you meet the love of your life at work. Yeah. At work, maybe, you, but you know, may, maybe don't stay at the same job. A lot of times so you need you get, space, bro. That's another thing you'll get sick of each other. You can get sick of each other, from each other at work, and then you go home and see each other. You know, like, damn so, bitch, you always here. But I can't get away from you. Fuck. But it's not always a bad thing. I mean, like that. Sometimes you need space. Sometimes you know we're we're human. Sometimes we need some fucking space. Right. But um, but I mean, sometimes you know, anything in life can kind of be like a, a a way to meet. Like if you meant to meet that person, you go meet them regardless. Something sometimes it might be work. So, All right. Not to knock it completely, but I would say like if you can help it. <laughs> To not try to do that, no, especially stay, not someone that's like stay about your business when you working. Yeah, try your best. Try your best. Like maybe I would say, especially like, don't try to do no hip. What is it? Hookups at work and because mm-hmm. that's when it can really get messy. Mm-hmm. Real mm-hmm. messy. Because you know, you fuck with one one girl at the at the at the job, then you fuck with another girl because you stop fucking one. Now it's drama at work and it's no peace at work. It's work already be shitty. Like we don't need to make it messy too. So. Man, you look really good right now. Thank you. <laughs> but okay, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, what is the nicest thing that I've done for you? I don't know. You done a lot. Um, name one. Very sweet. Okay, well, name one nice thing. You ain't gonna name the nicest, cause, oh, but name one thing that I did for you that you consider me. I guess nice. <laughs> Should I talk about that on camera? <laughs> is it freaky? No. Oh, what is it? When I was in Houston. Do you want to talk about that? You feel comfortable talking about that? Should I say that for the podcast episode? Just say that for the podcast episode. Cause that, that, that is a little. That's a little. Very. very that's nice. that's the big part of our like story. So no, okay. don't tell that. Don't tell that part. Don't okay. Um. Gosh, Charlie Jean. Okay. <laughs> um, I mean, something you, you did tonight that you do is sometimes when you rub me down, like you, you, you what I use, shea butter, mm-hmm. you moisturize me. And if anybody know anything about shea butter, you have to put in that motherfucking work, mm-hmm. get that shit up on your skin and nice and moisturized. So, like, I appreciate it because that's less work for me. So. Yeah, I like, yeah, yeah. And, you know, I don't got no complaints. You can rub your body down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a nigga not complaining. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah. I love you. I love you. Thank you. Should I ask some spicy questions or, like, not too spicy? I don't know. It depends. Um, have, <laughs> have you ever, should I just do like a part two and we do like spicy questions next? I don't know. How spicy? Like, what are we talking about? Like, have you ever seen nudes? Uh, don't, don't answer that. my business. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> No, no. All right, I'm going to ask a couple more questions, y'all, I'm in this video. Um... Mm. If you had to describe yourself in three words, what three words would you use mm. to describe mm. yourself? Mm. I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> y'all, it's late. Um, I appreciate her for joining me because I'm getting tired too a little bit. <laughs> um, but go ahead. Three words to describe myself? Mm-hmm. Um... Um, like just overall as a person. Yeah. Um, 
unique. Resilient, um, innate resilient, confident, confident. Okay, my nigga, I got it, say that, say that, say that. All right, I'm gonna ask about like two more questions. Um, mm, 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 what was your first job? Um, JC Penny. Really? Or is it a sales associate? I ain't know that. Yeah. First job. I actually liked it back then. Yeah, she had like a million jobs. So like, yeah, a million and boy. Mm. Um, it was my first job. I was seventeen. I actually liked it at the time. You know, Penny. Mm. I wasn't getting paid great, but it may do. You was at the cash job. register. Um. Yeah. Sometimes I'll alternate between the register and like you know, fixing up the clothes. And you shit. ever steal anything? No. No. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to keep the job. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> but I was only um. A seasonal. I was trying to stay long term, but unfortunately, that didn't pan out. Mm. Or maybe fortunate. I, I mean, at the time, I would say unfortunately because I was trying to stay. So. Tight shit. Tight shit. You know what I mean? I stand. How much do you ever get paid? <laughs> shit, not much. Um, I think like nine dollars now. Shit, me too. When I used to work at um Ross. Mm. Nine dollars now. What the pain? Shit. I think they still pay that bullshit. You know, and then we in a fucking inflation. Fuck. I don't give a damn. Um. Alright. What is your favorite dish to cook for me? My favorite to cook for you? Or the one like. Because I know what. You know what's one I like. like. <laughs> but which one is your favorite to actually cook for me? Um. I don't know. Um. She can cook really good, yeah. I don't know. I mean, like, or, or, or whatever you want to do. I don't know. None of it bothers me. They call me the Rizzler. No, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, okay. Uh, I would say my favorite dish that you cook is. Um, um, I don't wanna be basic and say that, but like you know <laughs> Just say it. The noodles. The uh, the noodles. I know. With, 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 it's not it's not like ramen, y'all. Like it's like a some Asian fusion dish she be throwing together. Right. Yeah. She don't really get to cook Dominican food because not a lot of Dominican food could be turned vegan or plant based. It's doable. It's doable, but like, you know what I mean? But it's easier to pick Asian, Asian, and like Indian foods just because they have already a lot of vegan friendly options to begin with right. in their culture. Mm -hmm. um, Dominican food, not so much. Right. But it's doable. For sure. It's doable. <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, um, that's the end of the video. I uh, thank you for joining me today, baby. Um, I can't say that she'll be on here often. She might, she might not. Um, she's supposed to be in the background sometimes. Um, Y'all go support her podcast. It's called Let's Be Open. Her YouTube channel, Let's Be Open. I'll tag it below. Um, and the else? I, um, I love you. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whole lot of love you in this motherfucker. <laughs> oh, damn right. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait right now, but yeah. Mm -hmm.
Hey, Jiminy Cricket, fuck you. Hey, hold on, hold on. I love you too. All right. All right. Fuck off. Okay. Wait, no, I did it. Okay, I love y'all. Win a circle. Mm -hmm. Don't let her do y'all like that. <laughs> I love y'all. Win a circle. I appreciate y'all. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. So wandering the earth with a heart in his pole That's all that he know Nobody had his back Left him down in his bowl deep Down his heart cold But he doesn't let him know No, no, no